Who are you, outsider? You have five seconds to explain yourself before I disintegrate you. My name is Candorus of Clan Ordo, but you shall address me as Mandalore the Preserver. Gather your clan, Mandalorian, for I will lead our people to our former glory. You're too late, Mandalore. Our people are scattered, our home planet decimated. There are no Mandalorian armies to raise. Not this time. You underestimate our people's resolve, Mandalorian. I have gathered many great warriors from across the galaxy, ones who were lost. I have given them a purpose to unite under one banner. I assure you, the galaxy will be ours again. I applaud your enthusiasm, friend. But there is just one problem. You do not wield the Darksaber. How are you going to lead our people? You refer to the Darksaber, the once prized possession of Clan Vizsla. If wielding it will guarantee the loyalty of all the clans, then I must have it. Where can I acquire it? Well, since you sound so eager about it, I'll bring you to its wielder. Lady Chris, I have encountered a rather unusual character on my quest. I believe this is someone you may want to meet. You must be the leader of the Mandalorians in this age. I am Candorus of Clan Ordo, but history will know me as Mandalore the Preserver. A crazed wanderer? Claiming to be the leader of the Mandalorians eons ago? I have no need of jesters while the future of our people is at stake. I'm definitely no crazed wanderer. All right, Mandalore the Preserver. What can you do to prove your identity? I have a whole army at my beck and call on the moon of Duxern. Warriors who once served as muscle for the Huts, or as mercenaries for the Duros, now swear loyalty to me and call me Mandalore. You disappoint me, Din Djarin. You gave up your chance at leading our people so easily, and handed the mantle over to a princess who thought she can earn it by noble birth. I am Bo-Katan of Clan Chris. I was born on Mandalore and fought in the Purge. I'm the last of my line. You shall address me as Lady Chris, and I won't suffer insults from one such as you. I conquered the planet of Althir, commanding a fleet ten times smaller than theirs. I fought over the skies of Malachor, where many Jedi fell before they could stop us. You demand respect from me? The Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders will spit on what the Mandalorians have become today. I am the rightful heiress and leader of our people. My days of fighting for factions are over. Mandalore needs to be united now more than ever. The Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders nearly went extinct because of their way of life, Candorus. There is no honor in throwing your people into conflict just for them to die. That is not the way. Not anymore. I was raised in a cult which strongly adhered to the ancient ways. But that was before I got a foundling. A Jedi youngling named Grogu. He showed me another way. We fight not for glory and honor in battle, but to protect the clans and our future. The foundlings. That is the way. That little green friend of yours has grown on you that much. Ha! Reminds me of a friend I had ages ago. He was a Jedi, too. His name was Revan. The Jedi solely responsible for defeating the Mandalorians and saving the Republic from us. He is the reason I do what I do as Mandalore. If you know Revan, then you understand that our people need to be restored now more than ever. The Mandalorians have been divided for too many years. It's time for us to return to Mandalore. There's no time for quarreling of leadership or greatness. The people come first. Hmm. Very well. I shall gather my warriors and bring them to Mandalore. We shall reignite the flames and grow ever stronger. Then the whole galaxy would be ours again. That I can assure you. And that is what we shall do. Next time, if you happen to bring someone from the past, consult with me before bringing him over. It isn't every day that things like this happen.